Hello guys and welcome to a new mechanism tutorial and in this episode I will show you the QIO exporter. The QIO exporter is made by two polonium pellets, two lead ingots, one ultimate control circuit, one teleportation core and one normal piston. And um, you need the QIO exporter to export items from your QIO storage system to a nearby inventory. And in this case, we choose a normal chest. We set up our QIO exporter on top of this chest and um, we need to set up a frequency. Um, in this case, a private frequency and uh, um, called a storage QIO example. We set it to that and now we can choose, for example, um, I, I think I have a stone in my storage system. Yeah, here, here you have it and item stack and we can choose it for stone, save, okay. But that we are now able, all these um, stones will automatically push to this QIO exporter interface. And um, you can see that these just now have a 62 stone. And um, if we, we set um, the filter here, um, we are able to get all of our um, storage system, but that makes no sense. Um, um, especially we only want to have um, maximum one of um, one item if we have um, maybe a deep storage unit, for example, for clean stone or cobblestone, for, ex for example. And um, if I set it to on, um, we can see that um, also a sword must, must be appear normally. Uh, export without filter. Okay, I need to delete this filter. Okay, and um, now now it is okay. If I set up here a filter here and click it on, uh, add on, um, there's um, there's no functionality, and so that now there's no filter, and um, I always um, all in all in my storage board is um, pumped into this chest, so that um, the so that the QIO exporter works fine as well. And um, yeah, that's the QIO exporter. I hope I could tell you something about the um, about the function of the QIO exporter. Thanks and bye.